Hi, this is Lisa and Steve again with the Camp Chef 475LC. Uh, we've got it all assembled and today we just want to show you uh, a little bit about how you start it up. We added our tank to it, you can see. Um, we want to show you the burners in action and uh, give you a little insight on what to do to clean the grill first when you get it brand new. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the top off. How heavy is that, Steve? Pretty heavy. Pretty heavy? Yeah, probably 20 pounds or so. And it's cast iron, so um, it's it takes some care. Uh, we're going to show you some tricks that we've learned from using it uh, at our other location uh, and cleaning it and whatnot. And gas is on. Gas is on, so we're going to go ahead and click the switch here. Just on high, and that's that's it. It's right on. You can see that burner went on. Click the switch, and it goes right on. And you can see the little igniters there. And each of those burners are 15,000 BTUs. So we're going to go ahead and get it shut off and put the grill on and start it up and show you how quickly it heats up and also um, what it looks like when it comes from the factory or it's shipped to you. Um, and how quickly the grill heats up. Now you can see that sticky stuff on there. The grill is pre-treated from factory, uh, but there's like a sticky film on it uh, from plastic that they preserve to protect the grill. Um, we also want to show you a size difference because um, before we bought it, um, Steve and I were talking and saying, well, we use that skillet when we go camping. Um, how much of a difference is it? Um, so we're going to show you an example. Um, that's a, a regular uh, flat top electric skillet. Um, the, that skillet is um, 22 wide and 12 inches deep. Um, so you can see the size difference. We've used it camping. Sorry we were cut out on the last video. We had some work to do, so we got the work done and we're back. Anyway, we were showing you the size of the uh, electric skillet that we used to use when we were camping versus the uh, Camp Chef uh, 475 LC two burner gas grill. You can see it's about half the size. Um, the measurements exactly are 11 by 21 and 18 and a half by 24 uh, for the electric grill. So there's quite a bit of difference. So what we want to show you now is just how quickly it heats up. So we'll take that electric grill off. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up on high and we'll check the temperature at each minute interval just so you can see how quickly uh, things heat up and we'll time it. Uh, we just want to give you a little insight of why we decided to get this stove. 87 it started at. Okay. Uh, we are in Florida, so it's a little warmer out than normal. Uh, so, uh, But what we did is when we went camping, we used the electric skillet and we found that we, when we plugged it in, it was on the same breaker as a uh, refrigerator and uh, a microwave and a couple other things that we were using. So we, even though we have a 50 amp uh, service, it would go on and off. So we'd be cooking our breakfast and it would, it would uh, turn itself off. So we wanted something that was self-sustainable and with the gas and uh, something that's going to keep the consistent heat. And then when we get back to the campsite, it's late at night, we want to fire up a burger. It's quick and easy um, and uh, nice to make breakfast and, and other things. Okay, coming up on the right. Okay, one minute later. One eighty six a minute in. Okay, so it's one eighty six a minute in on high, and uh, yeah, so we can keep it rolling here through two minutes. Coming up on that in about forty five seconds. I think it's going to be a real nice addition to uh, you know to the campsite. You know, we can go ahead and with the bigger surface and stuff like that, we should be able to go ahead and. You know, cook for a larger crowd, you know, versus the little one that we had. Uh, we wouldn't be able to get so much, you know, so much on there. And we'll use it at home, too. We found a little place to store it uh, on our patio here. And it 
wheels out really easy. Um, you just uh, roll it on the side where that shelf is, basically, yeah. and you roll it out, um, and it rolls real nicely. It's pretty. It's 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 not too heavy. And now I'll get the thermometer too, if you'll yeah, hold it there. Hold okay. So, so a little over two minutes. Looking at uh, mid two twenties to almost two thirty. And we'll let it go a little longer, yeah, we'll um, but it'll get in excess of what would you say? I don't know. The, the other one that we have is a, a little bigger burner. It's uh, a four burner. But it'll it'll hit over 300. And you but know what? So when, far, I mean, so far for, you know, a uh, two little burner grill, it seems to be doing a really nice job. Yeah. You know, so uh, we're at 237. We'll give it another 20 seconds or so and go ahead and fire that up. What we found too is when it does get hot, you can turn it on low. Uh, we found that once you heat it up when you're cooking eggs, it's, it's uh, weird, but you keep one side on low and you keep the other side off. And the eggs actually cook better when it's on off um, because it heats up so much. So uh, we're going to do another cooking video on it um, at a later date, so stay tuned. We'll so at three minutes, it's hit uh, 267 degrees, you know, three minutes in. So heats up really well. I mean, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with, you know, with what we have here. Um, um, so, yeah. So yeah, we'll pause know. this video now, and what we'll do is we'll let it cool off a bit, and then we'll go ahead and treat it uh, to store it and give you a little idea of what we do, as well as clean it in another video uh, as the, you want to get the plastic uh, residue off from the factory coating that they put. Well, they put like a little bubble wrap on it to ship it. So we'll go ahead and, and continue in another video. Uh, if I can't splice these all together, uh, that'll be video three. And then video four will be um, just treating it. Uh, it does come treated from factory. So we just like to treat it before we put it away, just like any cast iron skillet. Um, that you would use. So we'll be back. One of the things we found out last year is when you put water on there, if you put a lot of water and uh, that's that's fine because it'll all melt off, but don't take it and push it so hard because these outer edges get extremely hot also. So if you push that water into there, it'll come back up and you can constantly see people getting burned on that so that would be one of the tips that you know that i would share with you is because every one of us you know in the beginning when we first do it we think we're like at the sushi place <laughs> and we see them do it. but the thing with them is they don't have those corners mm -hmm. so you know that's pretty much how it comes off there all the plastic's off it just looks like those little dots are there but there's no more plastic on there um, so that'll probably just burn off like our like our other unit, the larger unit that we had did. So be careful because all the edges do get hot. Okay, so what we're going to do is shut the grill off now and uh, give you a little idea of how we treat it. Um, I'll let it cool a little bit. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let it cool and then take you to how we treat it. All right. Video number four, if we can't splice it all together, here's Steve. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to treat the grill how we do it. Now, this isn't a Camp Chef uh, recommendation. It's just what we do. Uh, and we just take those little Crisco packets, like you see, you buy them individually, and we just grease the whole grill with that, uh, with a paper towel. You can moisten the towel or you can just wipe it on. And we do all the cast iron all around. Um, the grill is still a little warm uh, from uh, the heat that was on it, but not hot. I want to make sure that it's cooled off. And really, if you do this all after you're done cooking, uh, you can clean it and then go eat and then come out and treat it before you put it away. So once you get it all greased up nicely, um, you, you take a paper towel clean. And you just wipe it because most of the um, shortening, I guess is what it is, gets absorbed into the cast iron. And it's just treating it. 
So it's retreating the surface. Ready to go next time. And you're ready to go next time. Uh, but what you never want to do is leave it untreated. So that, my friends, is all we have for now. Shooting off. And thank you so much for uh, watching this video. And please subscribe to our channel.